let's apply what we know now about gravitation to Earth orbit again so we can symbolize things a little bit. Okay, Earth has mass that we'll call big M uh, and we go out to distance R from the Earth. Actually this doesn't have to be the Earth but we're going to apply it to the Earth. So this is any gravitational object though, mass M and we're going to orbit it in a circular orbit at radius R. Now, at that radius we can easily calculate G equals big G M over R squared. We get that and we can get that from Newton's second law in Newton's form, the force form, which is appropriate to this situation. We could also get it from the flux form, it doesn't matter. It comes out about as easily one way as the other. But we have uh, force is GM, big M times little m over R squared, where little m is the mass of our satellite, which incidentally we assume is small compared to big M. We don't want to try to model the moon around the Earth with this, but we can model the shuttle around the Earth. To get the gravitational field strength, that's the acceleration, so we divide F by the mass of the satellite, little m, and of course that divides out the little m and gives us g big m over r squared, which is what we said. So that's the field strength at that point. Now, that field strength, of course, just tells us what our centripetal acceleration at this radius is. So we see that the centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r in any case for anything that's moving in a circle, also has to be equal to g. Because, of course, as we've seen, that's where the centripetal acceleration comes from. The force to get the centripetal acceleration, there's nothing else out there to exert a force. We're certainly not going to burn valuable fuel to try to stay in a circular orbit. Uh, we're going to let the Earth provide the centripetal acceleration to pull us, to keep us in that circular orbit by matching our velocity to the radius of the orbit. So setting these two symbols, or these two uh, things equal with g equal to big GM over r squared, we see that v squared over r, the centripetal acceleration, has to equal GM over r squared, which is g, which is the centripetal acceleration. Okay, by setting gravitational acceleration equal to centripetal acceleration then, we obtain this equation that relates the velocity of an orbit to the radius of the orbit for given mass, big M. We easily solve this equation. Here it is again. We multiply both sides by R, getting big G, big M over little r, and then we take the square root, getting this expression. And this is the velocity of our orbit. Now this can be compared with the expressions that we've gotten in terms of the 9.8 meters per second squared and all that stuff, and you should try to reconcile it with those expressions. We can also use the Newton formulation to calculate potential energy differences. To move from the radius of the Earth out to a radius R with a mass m, remember that the magnitude of our force is just big G, big M, little m over R squared. Don't have to worry about the proportionalities or anything, right there it is. Put your mass in there and the mass of the Earth in here in the appropriate R and you'll get the uh, force. Now if we add up all the forces times our delta R's, to get our work contributions, we're adding up delta W's here, force times delta R. Uh, we add that up and take a limit, and I really should have an arrow here saying that this approaches as a limit, the integral from R E to R of the force times dr. Again, this is a little bit of calculus. Uh, if you know the calculus, this isn't difficult. Uh, we factor out the G, big G, big M, little m, and do the integration from RE out to R. I can't seem to keep my RE in the picture, but there it is. Okay, from RE out to R. Uh, factor out the constant terms. We have dr over R squared evaluated from RE to R, integrated from RE to R. Gives us 1 over RE minus 1 over R. And here's our expression again. And this is the expression for the potential energy that we gain as we move from radius from the surface of the Earth out to distance R.